Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be installing Fleece Performance's brand new underhood fuel filter adapter conversion for the 2011-2000 to 2023 6.7 Power Stroke truck. If you've got a 6.7 Power Stroke, you've changed your underhood fuel filter, and you know that it's plastic, it's prone to cracking, it's, pr it's prone to leaking, it's just a really, really bad design for these trucks that are absolutely gorgeous. Fleece heard that and they came out with this machined aluminum fuel filter head conversion. Uh, this is going to be used in place of the underhood fuel filter and I'll show you just a little bit about it here. So like we mentioned, this works for 11 to 23 trucks. For you early model guys, 11 to 16s, it's just a two, it's two ports that you'll be using, the two larger ports. For the uh, 17 and up guys, you'll put your third uh, return line uh, port on here. This is an O-ring fitting 22 metric. It comes in the kit, uh, so you just take your 3 8 plug out. And I thought I brought my 3 8 plug with me, but I did not. Take your 3 8 Allen head plug out and then put the smaller fitting in here, and then they, you're good to go for you uh, later model guys. So the kit actually comes with two Donaldson filters, and these Donaldson filters are actually secondary fuel filters on a lot of different equipment applications, and that's what your underhood fuel filter is. It's actually your secondary fuel filter. Obviously, you've got your panel filter, your canister filter that's back here on the frame. So when we're installing that, we screw our Donaldson filter on. The machine height of this base is machined to go directly into the plastic carrier on the engine. And it's actually got a locking dowel right here on the side, so it fits in that uh, canister and will show you and locks down just like your stock fuel filter does. But it's got a screw on Donaldson filter like this. It's just a, just a lot better product. You're not going to have any leaks out of this uh, like you do out of the stock filter. I'm going to sit that down and show you. Uh, the kit also comes with a second Donaldson filter, a backup filter for you, so that it automatically comes in the kit. So let's show you. You've changed the fuel filter on your truck, or at least we hope you do. We'll show you how to do that. Um, on these new model trucks, um, you have three lines. Again, this is your injector return. This is supply to your injection pump. This is uh, your suction line from the tank, or supply line from the tank. Before I unhook these lines, I like to put a paper towel underneath there, just cut, catch some of the residual fuel. And then they've got quick connects on them. And I'll show you on my uh, supply line right here. The 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 safety catches, all I do is I just push the legs up, put my fingers underneath of the legs and just push them straight up. And then that's got the fittings unhooked here. So I'm gonna unhook my injector return my to the pump fitting and my suction line from the tank. Try to keep the rag underneath of them. And I'll Pull my fuel filter out here. <laughs> All right. And then, just like we said, this has got the dowel on it, so it's going to lock in place just like your stock fuel filter is. So, you just turn this counterclockwise here until it gets into the, into the uh, into the slot there, and then turn it clockwise to lock it into place, and then you're ready to go. Before you put your lines back on, make sure that you didn't shut down your uh, safety catches on there. So I'll put my suction line on first. And then my supply to my injection pump. Lock it down. And then my return filtration to my injectors. And voila, there we go. There's your fuel, your fleece conversion under hood. So to prime the truck, uh, if you change your fuel filter, you know, you need to run a key on cycle on the truck two to three times three to five, whatever, turn the key on the truck, don't crank the truck over, let the lift pump run. I'll do that three times and then try to start it. If it doesn't start after three to five seconds, I'll come back, prime it a couple more times, but you shouldn't have any problems. So we'll walk through this here real quick. We'll run a couple of priming cycles on it and then we'll show the truck starting up. All right, so we talked about priming the system up. Uh, we're just gonna cycle the key a couple of times. I've already done it twice. I'm gonna cycle it one more time, then we're gonna start the truck and show you kind of what we're looking for here. So cycle the key one time. And we'll go ahead and start it. And we'll just come over here and we'll kind of look around for leaks and everything, make sure we got the line secured, all the things. Looks good. So that's gonna conclude our fleece underhood fuel filter install for the 11 to 23 Ford 6.7 Power Strokes. 
You know, it's the cool thing about aftermarket right now, guys, is it's uh, we're coming out with better or companies are coming out with better mouse traps every day. Uh, these fuel filters have been a sore spot, you know, out here for a while now. This is a really, really nice upgrade that gets rid of that, gets you into kind of that more conventional screw on fuel filter type and and, and just, you know, dresses up the engine bay and, and makes everything cleaner. So if you've got a question about fleece performance, any of their products or six, seven power stroke performance, just give us a call. And uh, we appreciate you watching. Thanks, guys.